Well, good evening, folks. Welcome to RTC TV4 Pioneer TV. We're back at the pit tonight where Pioneer plays host to the Triton Trojans. Triton comes in with a 3-2 and two record, 2-1 two and one in the Hoosier North Athletic Conference. Pioneer, the exact same, 3-2, and 2-1 two, two and one in the Hoosier North Athletic Conference. So tonight, right now we've got Steve Stricker up here, and he's going to fill in until Adam Lau shows up. So... Fill He's in, on his way. Fill, fill in guy for a minute. <laughs> fill but, in uh, guy, but the yeah. man with the plan, Steve Stricker. <laughs> well, it just uh, it's it's nice to be back down here. Of course, I would have uh, liked to have been at Rochester, not because I don't like Pioneer, but uh, <laughs> you know they're supposed to be playing tonight, and obviously they're yep. off for yep. the second week in a row. Uh, so helping out the uh, the crew here, getting everything going. Madison's doing a great job on production and. Uh, you know, I saw this Triton team last week. I was up at Culver, did the uh, game with the Trojans and the uh, Culver Cavaliers, and they've got some really nice young players. Uh, you know, Pioneer's going to have to really look out for. You know, Shu from the backfield, the yeah. fullback, is a beast, and he's just a sophomore. Mm -hmm. And their quarterback, Shively, he's just a sophomore as well. Both really big, strong kids. And, uh, you know, Shively is, is the quarterback. He's the kicker. He's the punter. Yeah, I think he returned some punts last week. I mean, he just does everything on the field, plays defense as well. And, uh, you know, those are two kids that uh, Pioneer is really going to have to account for tonight. It's uh, probably going to be a little different results, uh, you know, score-wise than it was two years ago when we were here yeah. with the, uh, the lightning delay and, and it kind of <laughs> got washed out at halftime. I think this is going to be a, a really good game, and it's a big game, too, for both teams conference-wise because they're both coming in with one loss in the conference. Yeah, both teams, one loss in the conference, Pioneer to Winnemac, and I believe Triton lost to LaVille. LaVille. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one thing about Triton that was, is that was a uh, a zero zero regulation game. Yeah, they won seven nothing in overtime. That's yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, Cole Shively, the sophomore quarterback, you talked about just a little bit ago. I mean, he he's one of those kids that is a do everything kind of kid for Triton. Um, he's thrown for two hundred twenty three yards. He's rushed for one hundred and ten here in five games. So he can throw it. He can run it. And we're going to ask him to do a lot tonight, along with. Shoe, um, let's see, Anthony Shoe, a 6'1", 205-pound tailback, only a sophomore as well, uh, put together like a, a brick house, man. I mean, he, he's <laughs> we a, know what you're thinking. Yeah, yeah he's a he big, is. strong kid <laughs> for a sophomore, and he's going to be interesting to watch, and that's going to be a key for Pioneer, man. Being able to contain that line of scrimmage and handle, like they did, Last week with the run. The run game didn't do anything with Hammond Central, and it was all, you know, some big deep throws and a few turnovers gave Hammond Central points. But I am very impressed right now with the way Pioneer's defensive line plays and those linebackers, the whole, the whole you know, all 11 of them. They, they, they play so well together. And, I mean, Adam Berry has his parts where he wants them, I think. I think he's got his kids where he needs to have them. Uh, he's moved guys. The first three games, he moved them around a little bit due to COVID issues or being injured. And now he's got them back. Um, and he, it looks like a pioneer team that we're used to. Yeah, they've, they've not really had any trouble all season long on the defensive side of the no. ball. No. Uh, but obviously, you know, the first couple games, uh, you know, with Brock out mm -hmm. and so many kids that were getting quarantined and, and, you know, they went to Winnemac, I mean, very light and yeah. you know, total numbers. And uh, But since then, you know, obviously getting Brock back, getting everybody back and, and, you know, I hate to say it, going back to the masks in the school has really helped because not as many kids are getting oh, close yeah. contact quarantine yeah. right now. So that's been a good thing for them. and. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, they, they changed a lot of things around on the offensive side of things when Brock came back and yeah. uh, kind of went back to that style of offense that they were running when Jack was here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, with that kind of uh, wildcat type quarterback kind of thing. And yeah. uh, it's really worked out well. And, and they come in hot after going uh, starting off 0-2. They're 3-2 they're and two coming into here. and one three straight. Yeah. So, I, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to this game tonight. This, uh, this ought to be a really uh, fun game. And, I just hope, you know, that it ends up being a competitive game and that the, you know, Panthers get the win. Well, I think it will be. Both teams run that wing T formation. Uh, Adam Berry was quoted as saying that they've talked, he's talked to Coach Randy Yunus in the offseason about the wing T, trying to get, you know, show him some things. And that's what's kind of cool when you have 
teams actually in your conference and where they can talk and kind of shoot ideas back and forth. I think Triton runs a little more jet than Pioneer does. Pioneer really hasn't ran much jet where they actually hand off the ball to that motion uh, runner or anything like that. But Triton does that a little bit. They, they kind of break out of the wing a little bit, going with a single wing sometimes. But with Pioneer going with that wildcat, we call it wildcat, but we know Brock Robinson is now the quarterback. Right. So you really can't call it a wildcat. Right, right, Maybe right. just a gun formation or something like that where he's taking those snaps back in the – uh, you know, back at the quarterback position, and he's shown that he can throw the ball a little bit. Mm-hmm, actually, mm-hmm. for being five foot seven, he gets rolled out. He's able to find his m- main man is Caleb Sweet, who has went from a tackle to a tight end. And Caleb Sweet has paid dividends by moving him to tight end right now. Kid is so strong, athletic, just has good strong hands. And we're going to take a national anthem. break from talk and go to the national anthem here. So proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly. Looks like it's Hawaiian night, and here come our Pioneer Panthers, decked out with the black uniform with the gold pants, gold numbers, and of course, the Delaware wing tee helmets, a tradition here at the pit in Pioneer High School. I uh, I really like this combination I on do their too. uniforms. I it's, like this. That's, is the, that's sharp. the best one. I, it's sharp. You know, they got the ones where they go yellow and yellow, and I yeah, that's a little bit too much yellow <laughs> for me. I like this yellow Blind and black. You. Yeah, <laughs> yep. So, well, this is, uh, you know, this has been fun. I, the last time I got a chance to uh, see the Panthers was the game against Indianapolis Cecina. And mm-hmm. as we talked about, you know, there's a lot of changes, a lot of different, uh, you know, kids back and they're healthy. And I, I'm really looking forward to, to seeing, you know, what they can do here against the Triton Trojans tonight. Your captain's going out there for the coin toss. That's Caleb Sweet, number 40. Number 10 is Brock Robinson, 64, Aiden Lau. Number 14, Derek Legrand for Pioneer. Adam and I raved last week about Oscar Solano. Number, well, he was 75 last week. He might, he's back, he's 77 this week. They keep mm-hmm. moving his number around. But, man, he he laid a block down here that the kid didn't know what hit him. I mean, he just leveled a kid and played fast, played to the ball all day, all night long against uh, Hammond Central. He was in the backfield a lot. He broke through that offensive line. I don't know how many times caused havoc back there. And he's just one of those kids, a 6'1", 220, gotten bigger and stronger through the years. And he's just playing his heart out right now for Pioneer. 
Owen and Eli Miller both had really good games last week as well, playing those linebacker spots, rotating back and forth. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and bring in have Steve Stricker. Go enjoy the game, man. Thanks for all you do. And I'm bringing in my boy, Adam Lau. He finally made the trek from Lafayette, Indiana, and he's here. Well, thanks for having me. It's not just, uh, you know, right right down the road. <laughs> no, it's not, especially when you have to work for a living, huh? <laughs> That's what he says anyways. I will say uh, Piner's looking good in the, in the uniforms. Oh, yeah. Those are sharp, aren't they? Fun to see. So Triton will kick off to the Panthers. That's Number two, Cole Shively, he does a lot of lot of everything for Triton, the sophomore quarterback. He kicks off, I believe he returns kicks, returns punts, uh, plays defense. He does it all, kind of kind of remind you of a Jack Kaiser, honestly. Yeah. He's out there on the field all the time. And watching some f and so forth, they are, they are quick, very, very quick. Really nice sophomore running back and Anthony Shue as well. Their quarterbacks, uh, sophomore as yep. well. Right. Yeah, They're a little bit younger team at the skill position, anyways. So here's the kickoff. We're underway okay. here at the pit. Robinson will take it at the ten to the fifteen twenty. Oh, and he's got a he's got uh -oh. a lane. He's Let's got a go. lane. Goodbye, Brock Robinson, number ten. See you later. Forget about it. Look That's at that a, block by oh, Bo Oh, there we go. Bo there Mersh. we go. Way to start this. Starting things off in a hurry for Brock Robinson. He goes 80 yards. I thought it was yeah. like uh, the road runner. Man, that was nice. He had a great wall out on the sideline as well. Let's go and take a replay of this, man. Look at this. Great blocking by the Panthers up that left side. Nice wall they built there for, for Brock just to turn on the Jets and and hit uh, pay dirt. I said 80. That's a 90-yard return. He was at the 10 when he took it. So we're going to go. I don't think he was even touched. Was he, he wasn't touched at all. Made a nice cut there at the 20 and just took off. Me <laughs> 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 1147. Pioneer strikes first. That's what a lot of people don't realize. You know, Brock does so much. Much for the team, um, you know, now leading at quarterback and special teams has just been huge his whole career. There's a high snap. Robinson's going to jump on it. And, you know, if you had a kid about two inches taller, that's a good, that's a snap that can be handled. But Brock's five foot seven. You know, I started, I started thinking about this. Okay, last year you have Caden Hill as a quarterback. Mm -hmm. And Aiden Lyle's snapping to Caden Hill, who's six one, six two. And no issues at all. You bring a 5'7 guy in there, and he's just his snap points got to drop down. You know, maybe he's, you know, a little bit high on those, and you're, you're just used to a guy a little bit taller. Yep. And I think that could be a that could be a thing with Aiden, you know. We've seen him snap great. He snapped the ball great. but Yeah, the, the big difference from last year to this year is they're running a lot more out of the gun. Yeah. You yeah. know, um, where last year it was all under center. And um, they're doing a, a great job. Um, you know, I, I'm going to say what I said last week, is, and it's just been people playing some different positions yeah. than they're used to and excelling very well at it. Yeah, they've, they've done a great job, you know, moving some guys around and getting where they need to be. Well, we're going to end for a treat here. Number 77, Big Oscar. Oscar Solano. At fullback. Setting up to kick it off. Let's see, he changed he changed numbers back. Yeah, I, I noticed that too. He was 75 last week. Well, he probably wanted to honor uh, a great lineman from Pioneer back in the day, 77. Yeah, I'm sure that's what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> that ball's picked up, and there's a nice little cutback by number two in that, or 22, and yep. that is Anthony Shue. You're going to hear his name a lot for Triton. He's a 6'1", 205-pound sophomore, yeah. tailback. He's a very solid kid, and oh, yeah. I, I'm sure he's going to be a very solid runner. Pioneer's going to see a lot of themselves tonight. Be, when I say that, it's going to mirror each other. They both run that wing tee, so they kind of know the – 
the nuances and the tendencies, but you can always throw a wrinkle in here and there. Got it. I'm Here's a snap. It's going to be handed off to Shu. Oh, He's great caught. tackle there. Good job by Miller. Owen Miller. He just, just hooked uh, those calves and put him down. Uh, a number change as well, Adam. Number 57 now will be uh, Eli Miller. They can't keep doing this to us. I know, man. They got to switch this every, every game. So Eli Miller now 57. Caleb Sweet, their um, middle linebackers just. That's not going to be handed off. Nice roll out by Chai, oh, and he overthrows number 33, Evan Bryles. Bryles looks like a nice player out there, 6'3", 185 at that tight end spot. Brings up a third and 10, and we've got a flag down there, and that's going to be pushing him back. You know, I was looking at some of the stats from last week, and the number of, I think there was five or six Panthers that had a sack um, against Hammond Central, and at the leader of that was Derek LeGrand. Um, three, what, three and a half? Yep. A small, quick, strong brute uh, in. Yeah, he's, he's an interesting character because he's not real big, but, man, he shoots off that end like a rocket. There's a I handoff. To shoe. That's a nice handoff there. A few yards, and it is Riley Wood with the carry, a 5'9", 185 wingback for Triton, picking up six yards. But So it should be third and nine now. So they picked up six yards after that penalty. How was Pioneer's defense last week? Man, I mean, I'll tell you what. They they made a few mistakes in the, in the defensive field mm -hmm. on some throws, but when it comes to Anything in that running game, they, they are on it. Some quick pitch to shoe. He gets around the end, and he's going to be he caught. Not going to get the first Not going to get the first down, but I'll tell you what, Triton might look to. That's pretty. Could be a manageable fourth down there. Yeah, looks like we're running about 42. So fourth, fourth and one for Triton, and it looks like they're going to keep that offense on the field tonight for this first fourth down attempt. And it looks like he pounds forward and picks up the first down. Nice run. That was just some grit by, uh, by Shu. Well, that was Cole Shively, oh, the quarterback, sorry. just kept a keeper. Uh, the laughs just keep continuing. Yeah, we're just uh, continuing from last week. <laughs> but now, ho ho hopefully, they can hear me. So. Oh yeah. Hey, we're good. We're golden tonight. First and ten for the Trojans. A quick pitch to Shoe, and he's got trouble in the oh, backfield. Nice great. job by Pioneer. Good pursuit. Way to swarm him. Legrand, and it looks like Logan Smith in there. So loss of a yard, maybe a half yard there. Nice pursuit by Pioneer that time. What a great evening for oh, dude. a fall Solid football tonight. game. You can't ask for a better night. Just a little little breeze out there. And a nice W at the end. There, there we go. <laughs> Let's get it. 8.53, 6 nothing Pioneer up on Triton. Second and ten, hand off the oh, shoe. Oh. He bangs forward, but not much there if he got anything. I don't, know, I don't know who that Panther was, but Whew. he got Cody, demolished there. Cody Legrand took the brunt of that hit. Shoe just put his shoulder right into him. Man, I'll tell you what, Anthony Shoe, sophomore. Yeah. Big things coming for that young man. I, I would agree with you. He's a, he's a bruiser type back with some uh, great great feet. Between him and their quarterback, Cole Shively, two sophomores. Good and, things. And Triton's been a program. Uh, Coach Barry mentioned it last week. Mm -hmm. It's just been on the up and up for. Get better and better. Shively dropped back to pass. He's going to oh. run right into. Oh my Hello. Hi. My name is Miller. 
It's Miller time. <laughs> Miller time. 67, Owen Miller. Meeting you. Greeting you. That's in our, the backfield. I don't know what wrestler it was, but that would spear people. <laughs> Goldberg, baby. Oh, yeah. Um, goodness gracious. That was sweet. Well, it looks like we've got Brian Gloof in the back, back there to return along with Caden Hill. So fourth and they're going to say fourth and nine. This time Triton's going to kick it away. Seven seconds, six seconds, five. They've got to get this ball yeah, they do. snapped the here quick. Two, field. one, and they do. That's a good, good kick the there good by Shively. Great. Mill <laughs> Picks up by Caden Hill's Hill. going to pick it up and pick up some yards. He's across to the 30, maybe the 29 there, or 31-yard line. Let's see if uh, we can get this going yeah, let's right see what, off the bat. see what the, the offense, offense looks like tonight. We haven't seen them on the field yet due to the 80-yard or the 90-yard kick return by Brock Robinson, the senior showing his Jets that very first play of the game. Be nice to see some Jets again, a little quarterback keeper, a little power play. Or wow, look you, at this. Why don't, so you put, it, why don't you dump it to Caleb well, right now? Well, you got Caden Hill as quarterback. Oh, yeah. They switched it. No. Let's see what the snaps look like. You know, yeah, I mean, definitely. this will make a difference, man. you got a six foot, six one kid in there compared to Robinson. You might be on to something. They're snapping. It's right to oh. Logan Smith. Gets a few yards, maybe two, before he stopped. Number 34, Braden Cunningham on the stop. And the Panthers have, have not lost to um, Triton. Six. Seven or no. Seven or no. Yeah, since the conference, I mean, well, you can say that about any team. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know. <laughs> they haven't lost other than Winnemac. Winnemac, Winnemac yeah. and, yeah, that's it. And I think some it would have been a little bit different. Hayden Hill still back at the quarterback yeah. position. Yep. Hill puts Toulouse in motion, takes a snap. This time, Caden Hill's going to run. He's going to pick up a few more. I didn't realize that Tolosa had over 120 yards last week. I didn't either. It was a quiet 120, I think. I think on 15 carries. Yeah. Oh, he had, right. some, he had some big big carries, but you didn't, you didn't, it didn't seem like it. Did they even have Robinson in the lineup? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, see. I know. I, I, was trying, I was looking for him as well. Yeah. So, Caden Hill with a third and situation do you think that this was a strategy move by coach Yeah, Shively's 22 of 52 yard this year. But I guess it's, he's been more of a just sit back and, and throw. Not sure. going to do that against Pioneer. You're not going to no, sit back exactly. there in a pocket. <laughs> and even it's hard for teams to get out, um, get outside. With, They're in the gun. There's a snap. To Take Shively, it. and he's going to get locked up. The Panthers are just swarming like bees out there. That was a nice <laughs> job by Pioneer. The uh, 
uniforms they have on reminds of some vintage school Re retro jerseys. Yeah. Well, the opposing team has uh, more fans than... Oh, <laughs> just a few. Like I said, Bourbon, Indiana is a little bit closer than Hammond. So we're going to take a timeout. We'll go ahead and take a timeout here as well on RT-74. Pioneer TV. <laughs> Back here at the pit where Triton has a third and ten situation on the 39-yard line. Cole Shively in the gun for Triton. He's got two wide, one on the far side. Shoe set as a fullback in the backfield. They're going to give the shoe, and he's got some running room back here, and uh, we got a hold. Oh, yep. So this will negate the run, but shoe would have a first down there, it looks like. But and set a uh, smell right in there. Yeah. Super quick, and uh, he made him for he made that play force outside a little bit, which um, ended up getting that holding penalty on, on Triton. So that'll move him back here. Back to the 29. Well, that was a third down, was it not? Yeah. So. It's ain't. And they've got the second down mark there. So it looks like second and 20. Okay, second and 20. Ball's on the 29. It's at 30. So 402 left here in the first quarter. Pioneer up six to nothing. So Triton, second, 20. There's a snap again. Dropping right back. Through the Panthers. And that ball is going to be sailing over the top of number 24, he was Cole feeling Irvine. The, he was feeling the pressure on that one from the, the Pioneer D-line and backers. They talked about the man, Oscar Solano, busting those offensive linemen, just able to get through there, make a nice play. He had the initial pressure. So third and 20. Yeah, I've been excited about this all week. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yep. Get it. <laughs> so third and 20. Shively puts man in motion, takes a snap. He's going to go to this way, oh, and there's nothing there. Nothing sandwich. there. Wow. Sandwich between uh, Solano and Logan Smith. Man. A senior sandwich for Pioneer. <laughs> <laughs> they were both coming in. Oh, that, that was one. it was a bad read by Cole Shively. He went the wrong way. So back again will be but Brian it, Gluth. It could be a learning, a learning yeah experience for him. Well, I know not to do that again against that Panther D. Like a run pass option, and he optioned the wrong one. Back to kick is Cole Shively. Or RPO, some people. Yeah, or something like that. <laughs> Good boot. Nice, Man, that's uh, hanging. Nice spiraling kick. Caden, and Caden call, Hill. Called for a fair catch at the what? 43, maybe? 41 yard line. Oh. Did you bring your glasses tonight? No. Dude. They're reading glasses anyway, so. Oh, it's got, well, it's if it was help. close to us, you could see it. I mean, you could. Well, these lines if, are If I'm going to be fake. back, you can just have some, you know, well, telescope. Tell, tell, tell them to paint the lines tight, man. <laughs> the lines are light. Fields does look in uh, good shape. Not too bad. Freshly uh, mowed. Or cut, I should say. I got Sweet going wide out there, number 40. Hill. He has gotten a lot quicker, too, mm -hmm. over the last year. He'll snap. take the snap. Toloza's got it. He's going to look for that in, and they had Sweet out. Holy Whoa. cow. Great patience, though, to let that play develop. But Who was that? Got some big claws right there. By Number 10, and that yeah. is Tyler Amsden. Wow. It kind of looked like a um, horse collar, maybe. Yeah, he, at, at he first. drug him down pretty good, and... With Lose one him. hand, I think one arm. I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dang, look at that tree trunk. So, Toloza not getting any yards on that play. Second and ten, Pioneer. Back on 
So Caden Hill. Caden's not, not much there. Not much of uh, no. running room on that left side. So Winnemac right now up 7 nothing on Culver. One just about a minute left here in the game. That's covered by RTC TV4 and Winnemac Broadcasting up there. Shea Caston, Timmy Gearhart, they do a great job up there. Chad Compton doing the camera work. It's they always Culver is still a, their their team is not, not up to par, so to speak. Yeah, or. and they run they run that ball and run it and run it some more. They don't overlook the pass. Caden looks the pass, and he oh. overthrows Toloza, so that'll bring about fourth down. Yeah, he threw it behind him. Toloza had to turn all the way around. Just just an awkward so place to catch. You said Robert Robinson's over here on the bench. He's sitting down here. Oh, well, there's, there was another 10. I it had to be. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. Hopefully he's okay. They need him back in there. That might be the whole reason. Yeah. <laughs> he's quarterback. So Dylan Odom will be back to punt. Good snap, set, and, man, they got there pretty quick. Yes, they did. That ball's – that's a good I'm punt. That's going to roll. Uh, he picked it up. That's Mersh dragging him out of bounds. Yeah, I wonder, is it his leg? Uh, it looks like you're looking at his wrist. Maybe, yeah. I just don't, yeah, his feet are on the ground there. It looks like he's okay leg-wise, but they're looking at his hand maybe, maybe a wrist. So here we go, Pioneers defense with a minute 31 will step on the field. So Triton with a first and 10 on the 36. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking a pass on this play. Well, they've got Shively under center. To see if they can expose I don't know. That they've got Shively under secondary. center. Going to hand off the big shoe, and he gets, he gets caught in the uh, backfield. He tries to squeak. Oh, Holy. he came out of it. Wow. Wow, nice job by shoe yeah. just to pick Great. up a few more yards. Great job on just keeping those legs moving. Boy, he picked up about four yards on yes. that carry. He got hit in the backfield but didn't go down, kept going. Ducked a couple tackles, too. Yeah, we got that uh, instant impact on it, but there was no other Panthers there to kind of corral him, and he just had the yeah. determination. He's going to get some more yardage. So we're under a minute here in the first quarter already. Cole Shively, the sophomore under center, takes a snap, looking to hand off, hands off to shoot, and he gets caught that time. He might have got to the line of scrimmage. Maybe a le with that lean, he picked up a yard, but not much more. Now, John, how in how Indiana is this? Um, just right past the football field. Oh, yes. a little harvest har time. A little harvest time. And deer going. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's nothing better than a some a some Friday night lights with a. Uh, oh yeah, take the a picture. Going on. Take a picture. Beautiful night for football here. Just look at it. At the <laughs> at the bit. <laughs> Shively under center takes a snap. Good job by oh Pioneer. Oh, my gosh. Yes, sir. That looks like it was Derek Legrand shooting the gap along with his brother, Cody. Wow. That'll end the first quarter. Pioneer up six to nothing here at the pit. Come back. Get some more action. RTC TV4. Back here at Pioneer at the pit. Pioneer leads to nothing starting off this second quarter so before uh we we broke i was i'm getting ready to ask you a question so based on we're in game six already and do you think pioneers defense is as good as you know what they were uh projecting i think they surprised some people honestly i mean i really think that they've kind of surprised people to me, they surprised me. I'll say that. Um, <laughs> well, you are some people. I'm some person. <laughs> Something. So back to kick will be Shively. Yeah, I think game against um, That's Sassina. a high snap on one uh, hand. Logan's, it. Oh. And he's just going to boot it out of bounds. But that's a good punt. It, yeah, he has that great form and he's getting spirals that's pretty down much there every kick. The... So here comes the Pioneer offense. No Brock Robinson. He's still getting worked on over there by the athletic trainer, Zach Cowell. 
and his dad. Yeah, this would be a, a nice time to to get that offense going. Yeah, it would. Get a nice drive. Like to choose some clock. Run that sweep play again to to Loza, Loza maybe, yeah. and just get that walled off on the outside. And they got Logan Smith back here at fullback again. Hill in the gun. Toloza and Bo Mersh as your wingbacks. Maybe you need to get the crowd into it. Oh, Logan Smith that? takes the handoff. He's still going. Yeah, he picks up a cut, maybe a yard. I don't know even. It's close. Man, they are just pushing the Panthers back. Yep. And it is a big defensive line. I, I don't know their numbers, but. They probably average about 215 on that line. Six two. Yeah, about 215 on that defensive line. So Hill, the second and 10. Tolo's in motion, takes a snap, hands off to Logan Smith, and he powers forward. He picked up a couple. couple yards there on the play. Hey, my and this is four a four-yard gain there. This is the most fight that the Panthers have seen. Um, yeah, in a in couple a weeks, games. actually. Yeah, especially on the defensive. They've Triton's doing a good job. Third and six. I mean that waggle. Throw it the Mersh in motion. They're going to run that little counter. There's Toloza. There you go. Come oh. on, Ryan. Toloza ducked oh. the. He ducked the tackle. Was able to push forward. Get the first down by number 15, the sophomore Ryan Toloza. He's brought down by number 21, he Amari had, Snyder. He has a, those He's running. Yeah. That just says, "I'm going to run at you." <laughs> and he's got some. He's got a little giddy up in his step too. Nice little running back. But yet he's patient. Yeah, that developed very well. They faked that handoff to Logan Smith, and here comes Deloza, and he takes that little counter. I like that play a lot in Pioneer's offensive scheme. Deloza again in motion. This time it's going to be Caden. Caden Hill, and he's locked right past the line of scrimmage, picked up a yard. And you can definitely tell. I mean, Pioneer has a, a pretty regimented um, you know, summer workout. Here we go. We got number 10 back in that lineup. Brock Robinson coming back in. So, looks like nothing really major, whatever it was. And he will set it back up at quarterback. So, sending Caleb Sweet far right. So, that far to, to me, that tells me they're going that way. He's going to seal that block off. Yep, right there. Oh, nice sidestep. By Caden Hill, but there was really nowhere to go. No, nope. Sweet had to come back around and try to set the block. It looks like a finger, maybe to Robinson. Yeah, he all might. Taped up. Looks like he might have sprained the finger there. Nine fifteen left here. Clock running. Robinson gets the play from Coach Adam Barry. And he is such like a silent assassin. <laughs> yes, he is. Robinson sets behind center, takes a snap. Long. That's that hit off of Robinson's finger. That yep. you could tell right yep. then and there. That bounced off that finger. Logan Smith picked it up, and that's a loss. Thankfully, you know Logan was back there. That could have been a pickup and to the house. So fourth down, and Pioneer will punt again. Pioneer's had a lot of punts already. Mm -hmm. I mean. See it too often, like. But here we go. Back to return will be number twelve. That is Dante Workman. So ready for the snap, Dylan Odom. There's a snap. It's a good one. He gets it away. Good. It's gonna to the out of bounds, and it's gonna roll out. Good pioneer there bounce go. there. Yeah. About to the 23-yard line. Nice punt by Dylan Odom. 
And he was, he was one that sang the national anthem. Yes, correct? he was. Yep. A good voice as well. Yeah, he, he did a great job up here for the game. 8.06, Triton with the ball. They'll get things started on the, be on the 24. Shiley will be center, shoot the backfield. Ball handed off it, and Panther just back there, but he keeps Boy, tell breaking you what, tackles. Look at Shoe run. He sidestepped a couple tackles and just nobody got a good good angle on him. Couldn't wrap him up. And even if they had a nice angle, he can just kind of maneuver uh, his shoulders around to you know get through those tackles and keeps his legs going as well. So nice run by Shu, an eight-yard carry. Second and two for Triton. Triton located at Bourbon, Indiana. North about 35, 45 minutes. Shively takes a snap. He's going to hand off to number 42. That is Riley Wood, and he's caught in the backfield. Yeah, there was definitely nowhere to run there. Miller right there. Every road was closed. See Miller and Derek Legrand in on that tackle. Yeah, Aiden Lau uh, practicing over some snaps some over snaps. here on the sideline. Yep. Big 64. Diesel. Got to keep uh, keep getting better, you know, and that's, that's something that they've had an issue with it's a big, more so. Big third down, third and two for Titan. What Pine can do. Quick handoff to shoe. shoe. Some running room. No, it's coming up in Derek Legrand. And Caden Hill. Caden Hill went low. Derek Legrand had him from the backside. He didn't get anything. So that'll be a fourth and two situation for Triton. And once, uh, you know, Legrand latches on, <laughs> he's not letting go. Like a spider monkey out there. <laughs> Six ten. Clock running. Six nothing Panthers. We got Peppy in uh, an old uh, white shirt. Yeah. Reminds me of the old Chris Farley. And a lay. <laughs> got a timeout. Triton calling their second timeout of the half. We'll take one as well here at the pit. Pioneer up six to nothing on RTC TV4. Pioneer TV. Back here at the pit. RTC TV4 with Pioneer TV. Thanks for tuning in tonight. So far, we've got a pretty good game. Six nothing Panthers. Triton going to be punting away with a fourth and two here on the 32-yard line. Caden Hill will be back to return. And so far, and I, I Cole, think, Cole Shively's booted the ball pretty well. And I think Triton didn't think that I, – I think that they thought they would be able to move the ball a little bit better um, and eat more easily than they've been able to do tonight. Well, that took a nice roll for Triton. Boy, Shively, Shively's a do-everything kind of guy out there for... Is he uh, on the basketball team as well? I believe so. I believe you so. You seem to know a lot of the players from many different schools. I, I, I believe I've, I saw him play junior high basketball, a pretty good ball player. So Pioneer, Robinson will be back in that offense again. Yeah, we definitely need to pay attention to see how that finger is going to be affecting him. Yeah. And it is the left hand that he's got wrapped up, those two fingers wrapped up. So it's not his throwing hand, but it's still hard to handle. There's a hand off the hill. Uh, he's got some running room. Great blocking it. up front. Huge gap right there. Yeah, that was a good job. Look down that field. Look at number 40, Caleb Sweet, leading the way out there too. I say if you run behind Caleb Sweet, things are going to be all right. Sweet. Nice tight end, 6'1", 190, number 40. With some great hands. Oh, man. Haven't seen it yet. They haven't tried to throw to him yet. But as Triton starts to put more in the box here, you might see a, an attempt. This is probably the all-around. Um, this time it's Robinson. He cuts right. 
and picks up a first down. Nice job by Brock there's a Robinson. Flag. Yeah, there's a flag. Let's see what that is about. Could have been a face mask. It's kind of I think it might have been some guys jumping back and forth. Maybe after that. There's a hold. Or a block in the back on Pioneer, so that'll negate that run. Yeah, I didn't see. Because they threw it at the end of the play. Yeah. It was down Just there in the pile. It. Somebody must have got a hold of somebody right at the end. Or just fell on top of him. It could be. So 5-12. So a 10-yard penalty. That'll move him back, and it'll be about six yards to the first down marker now. Yeah, I was saying Triton's probably the most uh, biggest all-around defense that, that we faced all year. I wasn't at the Winnemac game, but what would you think about the Winnemac team? There was a nice pass. Oh, one just, over to one the top. <laughs> just over the top of Kate <laughs> boy, Hill. Boy, if Kate Hill could have snagged that, wouldn't that have <laughs> been something, man? That'd be replay, top 10, ESPN, everything. If he could have pulled that in, but to no avail, it'll bring up a third and six for Pioneer. Yeah, um, answering your question about Winnemac, they're just an all – all around good team. <laughs> yeah. And they've been um, working hard to get to this point. Got and it showed. Well, they've got a great coach in John Hendricks, a Hall of Fame guy. Mm hmm And started at, you know, he was at Carroll, and he grew up playing at Winnemac, and I think it was his dream job to come back and coach the Warriors. Oh, It's a tough snap. snap and there. Again, that. They, they have to get a handle on on this. Well, that wouldn't, I mean, that's a ball that can be handled, but when you have a guy with a couple fingers taped, it's hard. Well, it looked like it hit out of, uh, you know, Aiden's, hit his leg is what it looked like. But, you know, me and, me and my eyesight. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. Yeah, that block in the back hurt Pioneer big time. Is this their fourth punt? Fourth punt of the half. Goodness. So you got to say Triton easily. That's a, that's a tough one to handle. Going to take some roll. It's going to get down there to about the we definitely 36 had, yard line. We definitely got a present on that. On that. Yeah. One. That that could have been way worse. Well, it's no return, so you'll take it. wasn't the greatest punt in the world, but it had a little bit of roll for Odom. So 36 yard line. Four oh eight left before halftime. Pretty quick half so far. Yes, it has been. Remind folks next week, if I'm correct, you can answer me if I'm wrong. We'll be homecoming. Nice job, and shoe gets bottled wow. up right there about the line of scrimmage is where he's going to get stopped. It's a handful of, of Panthers. It has to be. It has to be a team effort tonight on the sophomore Anthony Shoe. With that size, six one two zero five, man. He has that take the game on his on his shoulders, yeah. Um, type attitude and just type of player that he is. Shively will have two wide over here. Takes a snap, looking First to swing throw. it this way. That was a wide good pass. Open. A great block by Triton, and that's going to be an easy first down. Yeah. And then, good pass, Shively. It was a, a, a very executed, a very well executed play, right there. Yeah, Shively just threw. It almost looked like a little screen, but it is just the front of the. Nobody. I mean, Pioneer was playing back. They're playing a the zone there, mm -hmm. and didn't didn't get up on him. Yeah, he had no pressure. No. So I mean, he he felt. Or he looked like he was very comfortable in that spot. Triton trying to get something on the board before halftime with 3-12. It's a snap handoff. Now they're going to reverse it back around, and that's going to be a hold, it looks like. And that was number 10 that finally had it, Tyler Amsden. It seemed like they threw the flag before yeah, I think the play it was, even got I up. think it was motion on that wide receiver. 
Yes, sir. You know, I mentioned it last week, but um, the Bible Link is back open. Oh, yeah. So another congratulations to... Yeah, Chandra Felker, Steve Felker, Tom, and Rachel Henry, the co-owners of the Bible Link. Have you, have you had it yet? I have not. Oh, man, I, I thought you'd be up here nope. early. No, tonight I, I helped support the Pioneer FFA with a pork chop, or a pork I did. Yeah, well, you didn't, I got you didn't that from. Well, I got it from my Hines, great niece Ellie Hines, and delicious. Next week, Dan's Fish Fry, I believe, is going to be around. Can't go wrong with a Dan's Fish Fry. No, you can't. Two forty-six. Triton breaks huddle. Cole Shively oh. dropping back. He's got. They, oh, there we go. There we go. Nice, nice job by hey, Legrand hey, right there. Yeah, who was that? Number 14, <laughs> Derek Legrand. He's been in the backfield all night. He, he latched on to his jersey and was not letting go yeah, on that. He just, Great job. Great strength, too. You know, that's a nice play. Pine is going to call a timeout. They're going to try to get the ball back here. Yeah. So that's a nice play by Derek Legrand, but you know how strong your hands have to be to really do yeah. that. You're like holding on for dear life, ripping your fingers. He's walking around with one of those grippers. <laughs> Great wrestler. It's by he's one of those kids that doesn't take a whole lot of crap. Yeah. Almost, man. That's what he just got that in his eye, man. So, Two, but when he's on your side, then and there uh, you go. You're, you're going to win the fight, probably. Exactly. Kind of like with you. That's right. Hey, I take it. See the team, right? It's good. University of St. Francis, yeah. right? So, if anybody can trust me, tell me what former Panther played at the St. Francis College, you can win that five thousand. I will donate. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Peso. <laughs> Fuck. There's enough. Anyways, man, you can tell me. I think everybody might know that. It's been watching Pioneer football for quite a while. Just a, a stud in the defensive backfield. So second and uh, it's not a second and 15. That looks more like second and 20 to me. Shively dropped back. He's got a guy streaking. Uh, he's not going to Solano throw. in there. And he's just going to have to toss it down out there. And Solano is just giving him some grief back there. Caleb Sweet was right there. Cody Legrand. Great job by Pioneer putting the pressure on. And that stops the clock when yes. he throws it into the dirt. Seth Schmel coming in at, for Legrand. And we like Seth Schmel, man. Yeah. Very likable player. Um, just, a, again, a hard worker. He's quick. And I like the grant. He doesn't take much credit. I'm going to go about 30 seconds probably before it started. So Shively in the gun. He's going to put Shoe in that wing back position. Going to put him in motion. A quick pitch to Shoe. Oh, and that's not going to be anything. He might have picked right up there. a yard there and stopped the clock. So 208. Pioneer calls a quick timeout right after that tackle. You know, after um, oh yeah, after last week, you know, um, Hammond Central just really attacking the the Panther secondary. Yeah. Um, I guess I thought that they would be going a little more in the air than what they've done. Well, I'm sure Coach Adam Berry and his group of coaches talked about that a little bit Saturday morning and, you know, talked a little bit about, you know, how the defensive backfield has to really keep their eyes up and figure out where that ball's at when it gets in the air. And so far, Shively's connected on one pass, mm -hmm. uh, 20 yards, but that's about it. He's, he's had three, good, I think. Well, four. he's had constant pressure when he yeah. drops back to pass or rolls out. And that, that's a key for Pioneer. You put pressure on that quarterback, your defensive backfield doesn't have to work as hard. Mm -hmm. 
you can hold you can hold for a couple seconds and yeah you know it, now it's scramble time for that quarterback and he's got to find something and usually it's a bad throw or he's put to the dirt yep Caden Hill is going to be back for the Panthers Shively will punt again it's just been a punting fest back and forth back and forth Something, you know, as we know, Pioneer does not like to do. So no. being forced to do that mm -hmm. four times. It's a little bit of a high oh, snap. Here comes it. Pioneer, and they can't get to it. Logan Smith and Smell were right there. And that ball will be out. A near block. Let's see where they mark it out at. About 35, maybe. Oh, looks like the 25-yard line is where Pioneer will get things rolling. So with 2.06, Panthers will take over. Speaking of rolling, rolling, you know, like, um, you know, is that Limp Biscuit that sing that song that Keep we used rolling, to listen rolling, to in the, rolling, weight, rolling. In, the, in the weight room? Chocolate Starfish. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Pioneer looking to move the ball. You got Robinson at quarterback. Here comes Sweet. Sweet so 90% no, right. of the time that ball is going to come out here. See who they have over on that other side. It looks like that's Teloza. Nope, they're going to snap it. Hand off. Roberts is going to keep it. He, he cuts back. Uh -oh. He's got uh -oh. some room. Uh -oh. This he, kid can fly. Oh my Here we go, number 10, looking. Oh, a little stutter step. I guess shoved no. down at the 35. Great nice. run there. Good job Rock by Brock Robinson. Robinson. He, he had a little stutter step, kind of a juke move, and picked up about 10 more yards yeah. after. He turned on the afterburners for a short stint. I really thought they were going out here on uh, on a little sweet play to, on Hills or a uh, sweet side. Twice already, and nobody, <laughs> nobody's home. <laughs> That's all right, man. He's got me fooled. Ding Good dong. job, Adam Barry. Good job. <laughs> when you when you can fool me, here we go, sweet out here. I like how they're wide. right up back on the on the line, ready for the next play. There's a nice snap, Robinson again. Pounds forward, and it's going to be close. It is close. just a different offense when he has the ball. Oh, it is. It is. It's more elevated. Um, well, it looks, just a lot more options. That, it looks that smooth. It's about, you know, when yeah. the snap gets back there, it looks like it's it runs better. So second and five for Pioneer. 132 left. Clock rolling towards halftime. You know, I tend to focus on the line more. Um, See if we can just get some continued movement up there. Look at that. Look at that. Nice job. Nice run by Logan Smith. Did, okay, I watched the line that time, and number big 77, Oscar Solano, yep. led the way. He pushed his man back about 15 yards. <laughs> yeah, that, that's some stuff right there. So, again, minute 17. Clock will stop until they get it set, ready to roll. Here we go. They're, hey, they're bringing the sweet out, out right. Yep. Are you going to call the play well, again? No, I'm not. But here it is. Logan, Logan Smith, Smith cuts up the middle, keeps his legs churning. He's got about four to five yards on that carry. One minute, under one minute now. I just love the Panthers. Just get it done attitude. So, see. Mentality. Does have any timeouts left? I thought they had one. I'm surprised he hasn't taken it yet. He might take it here About soon. 45 seconds left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 42, clock ticking. Motion to Loza. Great. Snap to Robinson. He sidesteps. He's oh. got running room. And he's oh. going to go out of bounds. Good sense out there by Brock Robinson. So yeah, that'll, so that'll save, the save a timeout yeah. going out of bounds. Selfishly, I'm, pr I'm pretty certain that he could have. Yeah, get a cut back and be in the end zone. But as you mentioned, great um, field presence. Yeah. So timeout, Pioneer. I IQ. Some yeah. Nice football. High IQ. football IQ. That's what we'll call it. That might have been Peyton, Peyton Manning-ish. <laughs> No. Jaunting out there. Not at all. So the Panthers will look to put another on the board right before halftime with just under 33 seconds here, 32.9 on the clock. So did, did you have a prediction for the game? Um, I said Pioneer would win probably by a couple scores, I think. 
I, don't, I didn't I have I think that's any. after I told you what. I think I, after <laughs> I watched, looked at John Harrell. <laughs> no. Yeah, I said the Panthers nah. would win by 12. Is we'll see. what I predicted. But. We'll see. I mean, Triton's putting up a fight. Yes, they are. They're yeah. going to be going down easily. No, it's... Uh, so far, they, uh, as of the last three games, are easily our toughest competition. And we, I think we knew that. I think we knew defensively they, were, they weren't going to roll over. And the thing is, they run the same offense. Yep. So they see it. Pioneer sees it. Practice. So it's always a little different uh, come game time. Yes, but, it is. But just having the awareness of you know what they're so running. First and Man. Except maybe. Over. Pioneer is going to call another timeout. I think that's our last one. It should be. 20 seconds. seconds. We'll stay right around here. Pioneer or uh, Winnemac was playing against Culver tonight. They were up seven to nothing the last we knew. And this is really a big conference game for the for the Panthers. Yes, it um, is. You know, it's going to every game is going to be. Oh yeah, most generally a, a tough conference game. You know, Pioneer if they can take care of business tonight, you know they they'll be three and one in the conference, and Winnemac will be the only, I undefeated. believe, the only undefeated if they win tonight, which they probably, you know, they probably will. Did you hear about that uh, parlay bet that the guy, um, he, he could have won like $400,000. Uh-uh. <laughs> Is it you? No, it wasn't uh, me. Oh, okay. Here we go, Robinson in the gun formation. Snap is good. Oh, Back man. to Robinson. He's going to swing to Kate Hill. Now he's getting amped up. Oh, Let's yeah. Go. As far as fire That's out there, Kate Hill has the fire. He's that kid that has the electricity. Great pass by Brock Robinson. He yes, put sir. a little something, something on it. Got it in there. It was a quick, right, uh, yep. quick snap right to him. And, yeah, he just... Fired that ball out. Great to call Hill. by Adam Barry and the coaching staff. First pass play, or no, not the first pass play, second pass play. This time, Caden Hill's able to pull it in from seven yards out. And he was definitely determined to, to get to that. Ch uh. yeah, he hey, we got it right there up it the is. middle. Who got that? You know, what? Oh. He's all right. Oh, it looks like that's somebody. Big, that's big Brent and Gomer. Hey, we'll take a quick break here. Be back, finish out the half on RTC TV4. Back here at the pit, Royal Center, Indiana. Where else you want to be tonight? Pioneer takes the 14 nothing lead on the Triton Trojans. I, I can't think of anything. That'd be I, don't either, I don't either, man. I mean, this is it. And this is a mecca of co or college football, gee, high school football. I mean, the only people that think there's nothing better is the ones that aren't here. Yeah. But, hey, if they're listening to us, watching Hopefully us, they are. so be it. They're getting a, a great treat. Oh, yeah. Two weeks <laughs> in a row. Yeah. Talking Pioneer football. Getting some cuts and digs on each other. Oscar Solano set to kick off for the Panthers right before halftime here. Gosh, he, holy cow. He about put her through in, the goalpost. In the end zone. Yes, sir. With a rocket. Gosh, he had that leg cannon, man. It's uh, nice to have that. Well, if somebody had some accuracy, he'd be great. Because, <laughs> I mean, we have no – nobody can put one through the uprights after a point-after attempt. That's why Pioneer has been going for two-point conversions the last couple years. Probably the last five years. <laughs> <laughs> no, they had – they had uh, – I, I, yeah, I'm still screwing myself up here. Can't think of his name. Ring Gomer seems to, to be okay over there. Yep. Walking. That's a good thing. Walking Big 69. So they're just going to put her on a knee and he, go into halftime. He's going to his own. Um, you know, probably over the summer, I, I would guess. He's lost a little weight. Yeah. I mean, you can tell he's. 
starting to get a little weight off of him. More, I'm just more agile. To that, uh, summer weight program. So the Panthers go into halftime with a 14-0 lead against the Triton Trojans in this big Hoosier North Athletic Conference matchup. We're going to take a break. Come back. First, we're going to thank some sponsors here on RTC TV4 and be back for halftime and talk a little more about this game and a few others. Come back and enjoy us on RTC TV4. <laughs> Just uh, you know, what I want. It's like, she's like, well, she says, I got this. I said. There he kind of puts a lot of spin on it. It's going to check up right there. Easy to pick up for. That was number 12. And I there's a block in the back. Thing. Anytime a side judge throws a flag like that, usually a block in the back. So Dante Workman on that turn. To you players. Uh, changing out. And Caden right there was just. Pumping uh, Cody Legrand up on the way out. Yeah, there. I think he's ready to go. Yeah, Caden Hill is your emotional leader out there for sure. And now they're going to pick the flag up, and say forget about it. And he was as a freshman too. Yeah, you know, yeah, he he's got that juice. <laughs> yeah, he got that juice. So here we go, 11:54. Triton will start off on the 36-yard line. I think they're going to just pound shoe because they had some success uh, in the first half on that. Let's see what Pioneer did. You know Pioneer went into the locker room and made their adjustments as well as Triton. 
that's always fun but coming out of halftime kind of seeing what adjustments each coaching staff makes mm -hmm. and, and they're they're minor adjustments shively really. takes the pit throws it over there There's and wrapped up nice job swarm of caleb Panthers. sweet and solano right there solano underneath caleb sweet right there pick up and pick up a one yard gain on that play I say one, and they say two. <laughs> say one and, and a half. And really, there's probably four uh, Panther defenders that you could inter interchange on every play. Mm -hmm. You know, leading tackle or um, scooping them up. Yeah. Yeah. That Cody Legrand at nose. Somebody's out. Who is that? Who is somebody's out doing farming. Uh, There's a handoff to shoe. shoe. Oh. Cody Legrand had him in the backfield, but holy cow. Great Pioneer is able to man. clean it up. He might might not have even have gotten back to that original line of scrimmage. And That's where they just keep getting better and better in the defensive front. Third. He did pick up maybe a yard on that play. They're going to give we it to him. We got some salt and pepper in the background up here. Shoe, <laughs> <laughs> not shoe. That is one of my favorite songs. So. No, don't start singing it. I won't. Okay. I, I want to keep the, the listeners. <laughs> so third and eight. Big play here for the Trojans of Triton. Snap to Shively. He's going to uh, roll out. Oh, oh just, Miller had a little bit of an angle, but here we just, go. Nice run by Shively. He's, he's still, still in bounds. Logan Smith will finally get him from behind, but not in the form of a big run. Shively. Cole Shively showing his we athleticism. Get him here about the 40, and he just uh, ran by us. Well, Miller couldn't get the angle. He back here where yeah. the chance was. Miller took the angle, and then and Legrand, uh, Derek Legrand, was speeding out here to to try and cut him off, but couldn't get there fast enough. Shively using his speed there on the outside corner. So 10-14, 14 nothing Pioneer, but Triton looking to strike here. He put the first points on the board for them in the game. This would be a good momentum boost for them uh, to, to punch it in. On, he's going to hand off the shoe, and he's off to the left side, Clinic. and he's got some running room. And, boy, he just bangs his way down there. He's got an easy first down, almost the a 16-yard run. Shoo, nice run there. Is that like the 16 or something? Panther defense is looking a, a little gassed right now. We're doing a good job of getting that edge set for Triton, and Shoes like had some good runs. Seems like they're just spreading that out and just making the Panthers run a little bit. Yeah. 9.58. Shively under Man, center. Really There's smart. that quick pitch. Solano putting some pressure Great on. Tackle nice there. job. Who was that? Caden Hill. K yeah, Caden Hill. That was a textbook. Tackle. He's coming out of that defensive backfield. I mean, he was playing up a little bit because they knew they weren't going to throw it. But he, he definitely had the right angle. Yes, uh, he did. To get uh, Shively. Credit to Solano. He was able to put a little pressure. Was that Shively that was running? Or, uh, uh, shoe. shoe. Okay. My bad. So Panthers looking to keep Triton out of that end zone. As we talked last week, you know, they, they bend, but they don't break. Um, let's see if that they can hold true to that. Shively under center. You've got to think Shoe's going to get it. Nope, they're going to hand off to number 43. Oh, <laughs> look at that. And nothing. <laughs> Holy good. Let's see who that was. Was that a, sweet? Sweet. Nope, a Miller. a Miller. That was a Miller. Miller time. Big time Owen Miller. Is it Owen or he? Yeah, Owen Miller on that tackle. Eli's 57. Yeah, right? Eli's 57. So now you got 57, 67, Eli and Owen Miller. Well, we should be able to remember that. You we should. just don't know which one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> e. Miller. <laughs> e. Miller. <laughs> that covers both of them. Look how low the um, Shively gets on that. Yeah. He's down there to take that snap. There's a, he's going to keep the ball. He's got a little... There's nowhere back. Oh. Well, they spun him forward for about three, but Derek Legrand made the tackle. We got a flag. That's going to be a hold on Triton. Move him back. I think it was a, a – Yes, sir. It was a, it was a good play call there. Um, nice fake by Cole Shively. There just wasn't any, any room on that cutback. 
No, well, Pioneer. Tell he threw him forward, but. Pioneer did a good job of stretching that play out. Yeah. Filling the gaps. Which made, um, you know, Shively think a little bit mm -hmm. on, on which way he was going to pursue. Actually, it's third. So they're going to move it back here, third and about third and 15. After that, I, whole I third sure and would 15. like to have some stickers on some helmets, you know. That'd be kind of cool, man. Get the bones the back. The bones, yeah. Get your footballs. Gun formation for Shively. He's got shoe on that side. He rolled, steps, steps back. back. He's going to fire a rocket. Whoa. Holy cow, he put up something was, on that one. That was fast. Yes, it was. Get radar gun out. <laughs> Good arm by Cole Shively. You're like, we're smoking the bandit. <laughs> we can't even say it. So fourth down, 15, Pioneer again. Great job by Ben did not break. Yep. Ben did not break. It's like they it's like they want to get down to this point to show how stout their oh, defense is. Oh, look at this. Really They're going to go for a field goal attempt. Let's see what happens. Uh, he, he looked like he was. That's going to uh, be. They blocked it. Yep. Pioneer was all over that one. He's gone. Who Here is we it? go. That's Miller. It's Miller time. <laughs> It? I think Triton forgot what they did. Yeah. They thought it was a P8. <laughs> there the you go. The there you go. Touchdown, Panthers. Nice shot. Triton job. totally forgot that they were kicking yeah. a field goal <laughs> and not a P8. Yeah. That's what they forgot. Exactly. Great. Jo another special teams play by the Panthers. They had Man. a block last week. Pioneer with the oh. – yeah, let's see this replay, man. Oh. Here we go. Man, he's got some Miller, wheels on Miller's him. got nice, man, he's a nice athlete. Yeah. Him and his brother both. They play basketball as well, don't they? Basketball, uh baseball, good baseball, baseball right. players. Yeah. yeah. So here here you go. Twenty nothing. Boy, that was nice. Yeah, great awareness by Miller to find the ball, pick it up, and <laughs> Mimi. He was trying to catch some of that Brock Robinson speed. <laughs> yeah. But he's also um like, like you mentioned, a very good athlete. So 807, Pioneer puts six more on the board, looking to put two here. Robinson puts a man in motion, hand off to Tolosa. No, nope. keeps Robinson keeps it, and he's going to get bottled up there in the middle. Won't connect on that two-point conversion, but what, Pioneer what? still. What they run there? Uh, just like just, a quarterback just, keeper? Just a little power. To Brock Robinson, a little dive play. So 807. That, there's Caden trying getting the 20 Pioneer nothing. crowd. <laughs> Up and off their feet. Here we go. Yeah, that was great. Great, great. job. Dennis Walker, the public yep. address announcer here, made a good point, man. That defense is just held strong against Triton. They were down there on the eight-yard line yeah. looking to punch one in, and a, a miscue by Triton. And they and had a penalty, too. Yeah, they right? had that penalty yeah. and had to get – Went back, tried to throw that rocket in there on the slant pattern, didn't connect. That's where a game like this, I mean, those penalties are going to be crucial. Yeah. Um, you know, now it's 20 to nothing, but there's a, a swing there that oh, yeah. didn't necessarily have to happen for Triton. So Pioneer with a 20 nothing lead, 807 left here in the third quarter. You can't say enough about the Pioneer defense. Yep. I mean, the last four it, games, it, four it wins games. Championships. It does. And these guys, these guys take pride in what they do out there. Panther pride. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I don't want to hear any of your cheers. <laughs> is that Top defensive the coordinator? Is it Matt, Matt Gates? Yeah. Gates. Gator, big Gator. He was, he was quite the ball player back in his day. Indiana All Star, North South Is player. Uh, yeah, I think he's DB. Special teams. Here we go, Solano. What a boot! Puts that up in the air. It's going to check down and it's going to come oh, forward. That could weird, be trouble. Yeah, it takes a weird bounce. Nice job, Pioneer, covering it up. Way to cover that up. Gets to the twenty yard line. That's where Triton will get started. That was it. Yeah, we're talking. They're over there talking about the uh, golf shot there. Little wedge shot, spin back on that oh, yeah. kick. Yeah. Looks you, like you've so probably never seen one of those. <laughs> yeah, nope. <laughs> Except when other people do it. And it's not you. I've never seen you do it either. 
<laughs> uh, Seward over, Jason Seward over here telling us how he shoots like former, that. Former uh, quarterback. You played, hey, you played, you played golf in high school, did you not? No, you he, didn't. He's baseball. Oh, that's right. He was trying, Every, to, he was you trying know, to beat Ryan, Sam, uh, Ryan Sandberg out there. <laughs> he, he was a great player. All You're, around good athlete. Every every baseball player ends up playing golf when they get older. Hand There's a hand off the, off the shoe. shoe, and he's fighting for something. But Solano's right there. Through. Wow, good job. That maybe is the steel curtain. And maybe a yard. If that. Good job. Caden Hill was in on that. Miller. I, mi I think that's where Pioneer gets their energy. It's going to be on the defensive side. Oh, yeah. It just carries over. Yeah. You know, Eli and Owen Miller have played lights out the last few weeks, yes, too. Yes, they have. We've called their name a lot tonight, and they are they are turning into some nice-looking football players for the Pioneer team. Yep. I just noticed uh, Coach Barry was just having a little one-on-one -on -one with his senior, Aiden Lau, just having this special moments that they'll remember for years. And, and we got another flag there. And that's the, a good quality of Coach Barry. So it looks like another hold for Triton. Oh, yeah. personal foul on Pioneer. Who is that on? They don't, they don't call the, the person, do they? No, they won't. <laughs> do, they don't have mics. Yeah, they do. You just can't hear them. Like <laughs> us last week. Solano coming out. Schmel going in. So that'll move them 15 up. And see, there's a, that could be a costly penalty yeah. for Pioneer. Yeah, and I don't even, I didn't see what happened. It wasn't a blatant thing, but the ref sure threw it, and I think he might have hit him from behind, honestly. Okay. I've seen if maybe we could get a replay of that. But. So either way, 41-yard lines where Triton will get this drive started now. Shively up there under center getting down. That shoe reminds me of, oh, of Harrison Smith from uh, Notre Dame. Just how he's built and the way he runs as well. It's a good hard run again. Picks up three yards, seven. seven. Shoe again. Gets lion share of the carries for Triton. How many yards does he have on, on the year? I had it earlier. Seven, 702. 702 yards on 98 carries. I think he's averaging about 7.4 a pop. Shively up under center again. There's a snap. Panther he's going to swing it over there to Shu. Shu's right got some running room, line. and he stays on his feet. Great run there by Shu. Good job of blocking as well That's for kind of a rumbling, Triton. Stumbling. Man, he stays on his feet and yep. just keeps pounding. Big time run by Anthony Shu, 6'1", 205 pound sophomore. They have some. They have a bright future, I would say. They do. They do. This. And like Coach Barry said, this is a team that just keeps getting better and better every year. Coach Randy Yoon is over there, leading his troops. He's been there about seven, eight years. Yeah, I believe he's he's been there. Maybe a year longer than Adam Barry. Yeah. That's what I thought. Of course, we never played them until we got in the conference. Another Hand handoff. Off this this uh, time it's number 42, and they've got his number. Pioneer doing a good job. That carry was Riley Wood. I think he had one decent run where he got over five, six yards. But other than that, they've been shutting him down left and right. So, second and a long nine. Well, since you got it, since you gave a shout out, I'm gonna give a shout out. Nobody to, texts me either. You know? <laughs> to, uh, I, I'm glad somebody's listening. My bro up in Michigan is wa watching us all the way from Michigan. From Michigan, uh, Brad Cree. So thanks for the support for John. And yeah, I. <laughs> thanks, Brad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. A little roll out there. Oh, look at look that. Steve Miller. Woo Miller time. Oh, he's. Comes up a little ginger, gingerly, but be all right. Nice job by Miller. Man, Eli he is all Miller. Over the field. Yeah. 
looking good. He's got yeah, a, he is. He's got a cramp, it looks like. You stretch that bad boy out, keep going. Man, last week was like the cramp game. Oh, man, know. for Hammond Central. <laughs> yeah. they, like they never drank water in their life. <laughs> Four, 438, clicking on the clock. 20 nothing pie here. Third and 12. Snap to Shively. He rolls out. He's oh got it. Oh, my God. He fumbled it, didn't he? Nope. Oh, nope. He kept a hold of it, but he paid for it. Logan Smith and Derek LeGrand. Hello. Just, another, another senior sandwich. <laughs> the speed that they got on them, uh, that last five yards. Coach, uh, you know, Coach Fiano, he runs, he blitzes both of them. He take, says, let's go. Let's go get him. It's a, it's a passing situation. Let's go after him. Great job. And that just pushed him way back there. Yeah, and Shively had yards. nowhere to go. Yeah. He was running for his life. And, and it almost cost him there because he almost dropped it. it. Yeah. So Shively's back to kick. And that's a – I can't even see it. It's so dark out there. Can't even see. A high kick. That's going to go out of bounds. About the 35. No return for Pioneer on that play. So here Miller's comes the offense. Here comes the offense. I'm going to put it on the 38-yard line. Pioneer will get things rolling. 341 yeah, left here in the third. It seems like this year, you know, other than the um, return tonight, you know, right off the bat, it's taken Pioneer – a little bit longer to really get going. Yeah, um, it's yeah. been typically mid third quarter. Yeah, um, where they just they turn on the the jets and here we go. Let's see Robinson in the gun takes a snap, hands off to Loza. He cuts it forward and picks up a few yards on that good play. Good run there. Good run. Yeah, nice job. He knew the outside was going to be bottled up, so he cut it back and. Picked up what he could, and he still picked up about five yards on that carry. You know, I was kind of thinking he has that. that okay, pa maybe not. That patience of uh, Bo Crow back in the day. Yeah. Just wait for the play to develop. He was very good at just <laughs> telling blockers where to block, and then yeah. uh, just maneuvering. And his little lace, me, 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 me. So um, that kind of has that um, way to lose a place. He played that wing back position too. This time, Robinson's going to take the snap, and he gets uh, caught right there. Got a little. I like Brenton Gomer. Yep. Put, putting, he, getting right in there. Number 69, big Brenton Gomer kept that play. And he's a junior, right? Yeah, okay. I believe so, yeah. Robinson comes over, picks up that play from Coach Barry. And Pioneer has a lot of those kids that just really develop their, um, their football IQ and just – Physically as well, yeah. And are the uh, the base of a great line. To lose in motion, Robinson. Uh oh, that bad just, snap. He Robinson just jumps will just on jump it. Jump on it. It wasn't a bad snap. It was a decent snap. Robinson well, just didn't like get it. It was a little left. So Pioneer will push him back. They're gonna be punting. Fourth and about fourteen. Man, John, fifth punt of the of the night, I believe. Yeah, that's a lot of punts for Pioneer. You don't see that too often. I wonder what Coach Barry. <laughs> wow. Hey, I think he knows that Triton's a quality opponent. Yeah. That's what I think. That's something we're going to talk about in that, at the end of the yeah. game. You know. Good punt That's there a by good Odom. Punt. Great spiral. Nice catch there. Here oh, it comes Bo Mersh, number three. He was extended. I mean, no, that's he nice. just latched on and knocked him out. Dante Workman on the return, but Bo Mersh comes up and finishes it. Number 12 was, uh, is that Dante you said? Yeah. He, he's running off a little gingerly, as yeah. you would say. Yeah, he's kind of limping back to the sideline. Yep, now he's really... Pioneer just needs to keep doing what they've been doing. Play that good defense. Stay strong. And hold them on, on fourth down. You say it's fourth down territory? Easily right now. Yeah. I mean, you're down 20 nothing. It is. 
Too wide. Shively looking for the snap. Takes a snap. He's going to. Now we've got a flag on the play. Any Stops play? the play before it even started. So that means somebody was moving. Five yards. Step I, it back. I check fly. <laughs> she can't hear me, but my wonderful mother is right down there with oh, uh, yeah. my yeah. stepdad. Heard. Glad they're out uh, here at the game. <laughs> what? So what are we figuring up here? Push punt or push Triton back five. So first and fifteen. Pioneers just been bringing the noise. They've done a nice job like. defensively, giving a few yards here and there, but not much at all. Shively takes a snap, hands he off. The shoe. No, hello. He's, I think he just slipped. Yeah, he slipped. Cody Legrand was there to take care I don't of business, think he if not. Gotten much more anyway, but. No. Lost one yard on that play. So, third, 16. Minute 12. The clock rolling. We have um, Brenton Gomers taking some. Snaps yep. on the sideline. Run that option. Oh. Nice job. And uh -oh. shoe. Oh, oh, great tackle yeah, there. Who was that? that, that Caden? Uh, Legrand, probably. Another solid form tackle. Maybe Robinson. Some Robinson was right there, too. Third and 11. So third and 11. Definitely a passing situation. So yeah. Pioneer will put in that. Package for the third, third and long. Bo Murch comes is, out here to cover. This is where if they're just going to dump it off in the flats, Pioneer is going to be there, ready to just gobble them all up. Swings it down wide here. Wide open. To, and he oh, dropped, he dropped it. it. He was wide open. Yes, John. he was. He had a first down. He was right where he needed to be. Off his hands. Kind of thrown a little behind him, but Amal Snyder a, couldn't a, hold on. A be easable grab. So four or, ca or catchable ball. <laughs> <laughs> easable. Look at yeah. up in the dictionary, <laughs> yeah. folks. I don't think See it's gonna be find there. It. It's gonna be like some of the worst grammar of all time. <laughs> <laughs> you made it up. Uh, Cole Shively back to punt to Pioneer. Now you it's, said it's fourth down territory. Well, I lied. You've been Coach that Randy Eunice didn't think so, but I did, I guess. Heck, I think I mean, fourth and 80 would be uh, fourth down territory. That's a high snap, but Shively able to get it and nice boot punt. it away. Good punt. That's going to take a nice, tight Triton Trojan roll down about the 20. We had about six seconds left here yep. in the third quarter. That's where I would think it would be fourth down because Pioneer's been I mean, moving the ball. So 6.3. There's going to keep it rolling. <laughs> and we'll go into the fourth quarter with Pioneer up 20 to nothing. We'll be back on RTC TV 4. Pioneer. Panthers up 20 to nothing on the Hoosier North Athletic Conference rival, Triton Trojans. And it kind of surprised me. I really thought Triton would put some points on the board the way they kind of started out a little bit and yep. the kind of running back that Anthony Shue is. But Pioneer, I'm telling you what, if you are a team that runs the ball and that is your forte, yeah. forget about yeah. it. Forget about <laughs> it. Pioneer is locked, about it. locked on when it comes to a running back. Their run defense is... It has yeah. been for a long, long time, yep. too. And it, you know, pride I, yourself on that. Everyone's like, "Oh, why, why are you outscoring teams eighty to nothing?" Well, it's been the defense, honestly. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a great offensive program too. Well, but. You, you look at that year. Pioneer was the third in the nation in scoring, was sixty-two plus a game when Kaiser was there as a senior. Mm -hmm. That defense had tons of takeaways, 
and they score. I mean, that helps. Robinson taking the snap, hands off to Logan, Logan Smith. Smith, and he will squeak forward for maybe a Two. yard. Uh. So Logan Smith, I'm going to go ahead and give him two yards on the carry. I think um, we need to go to the bomb <laughs> before our next game. Oh, I got, well, dance, right, dance uh, fish dance, fry, man. But dance fish fry. Maybe we can go after if they're, they probably aren't. They won't be way. open. <laughs> hey. Skinny, just, skinny's got to get to bed. Just saying. Robinson in that gun, takes a snap, rolls out. Rolls He's out, looking. But... He's got a wide open Caden Hill. Oh, I'm nearly picked him. off. Threw it behind him. Oh, man, Snyder was right there with Hill and nearly caught that pass. And Snyder's the one that dropped the yeah. pass on the opposite side of the ball. So that was good defensive play. That was kind of thrown on the inside. Should have been thrown more to the outside for Robinson. But sometimes having that, you know, hear the, hear the feet coming at oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great job running the clock and scoreboard by uh, Chris Nyes and Jason Sewer. That gives some Robinson props. puts Hill in motion. Oh. Robinson will keep it. He, that's uh -oh. going to give him a little uh -oh. bit. Of, oh, he's. Uh oh, look at those legs just turning. And <laughs> he got a first down. He yeah, got he a first down out of nothing. A botched play right there, but uh, Brock Robinson just took it. Hey. That was that was a good job by Brock Robertson, and then he had a guy holding his shirt tail, and he still picked up a few more after that, enough for that down. Even though the snap was a little array, I mean, the offensive line held their blocks. Yeah, they did. Is that Mersh at center? Yeah. Or not Mersh, but um, Gomer? Mm. Did they switch? Don't believe so. Robinson with it again. He's oh, power it forward. Cody Legrand. Yep, I saw that. He took Goodness 12 gracious. to the house. Way to go. Put him on the bus. Young kids, if you want to see a good blocker that doesn't stop till the whistle blows, right there. Cody Legrand. Number 55. He's a sophomore. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. They've done, they've done a lot. I've seen a lot of just – true fundamental um, form, like tackles and, mm -hmm. and blocks that the Panthers have done tonight. There's a snap to Robinson. Uh, he kind of fumbled to Logan Smith. He's I, off to the side. He's still on his feet, and he might as well just sit down there because th he has everybody locked on him from Triton. I think that finger and that wrap is – that wrap finger is giving him some fits. Yeah, time it was not a bad snap. It just hit him – a little awkwardly. I mean, yeah. he's probably so used to, you know, catching a certain. Yeah. Thank you. Certain. Evan, well, you're going to maybe go with counter play. I mm -hmm. can see that rolling in. A little misdirection. With, with Toloza. Toloza. Maybe Caden Hill. Caden Hill carried a whole lot tonight. I, I see Sweet, Sweet going yeah, out so there. That counter play. Probably will go to that. Nope. Robinson just says, I'll take it. We'll go ahead and punt it away. Yeah. That's all they're going to do. That'll push them. Get well, it should keep, push go right see, back. Keep the clock running. Good clock management, as he was doing last week, Coach Barry. So Odom will come in to punt away. Like we said. And he's all. a senior, right? I think it's the first year he's played football, yeah. actually. Great um, asset to the team. Good, good attribute. So Odom back to punt. Nice snap. He gets it away up there. That's way up there. That's yeah. a good That's a punt. Great oh, oh, he right, dropped. Better get it. Robinson. Oh, he juke Robinson. Oh, but is not, that Legrand? But not, oh, not, he, <laughs> not Cody, Cody Legrand, Legrand is all over the place. Put his head in the. The Turf. smashing. Yeah, wow. Man, Legrand getting down there. Robinson Robinson yeah. had him, man, and just that kid did a good job. Number 12. Yeah, he, Again, he that definitely was lunged, Dante Workman. Looks like he lunged too quick. Yep. 
or yeah, he would have been stopped back there, but that gave Cody Legrand a, a nice avenue, <laughs> a beeline. Yeah. Just to destroy that battleship. <laughs> you sank my battleship. Here we go, Pioneer on the defensive end. 8.29 left here in the fourth. Shively, snap. He's going to go to that left side, running that little option play. He gets caught from behind, and that was number 14. Derek Legrand. Derek Legrand. The kid's been all over tonight. Five-yard gain, though, for Cole Shively. The great thing about the Pioneer defense is everyone contributes. Like, night in, night well, out. Well, you don't have – you rarely have – a guy just load up on solo tackles. Yeah. It's all assists and gang tackling. There's a bad snap. Shively. Where's he going to oh, go? Sweet had him. LeGrand. Oh, he, he shakes he LeGrand, oh. but, but not Miller. Not Miller. Miller no. says, I'll take you to the turf, and I'll pick you up off the turf. Good job I'll by see your turf Miller. i turf turf. <laughs> Good job by Miller. Oh, uh, you may have talked about this before the game, Probably but not. um Peyton Schnurple <laughs> is not playing. Yeah, I see him out again. What do we know? I what? have no idea. Down three. So three and a half yards and Solano back in for Great Cody job Legrand. by Cody Legrand. He he deserves a nice breather after just running all over the field and making some great tackles. So gun formation, snap to Shively and we got here, a flag. yep. False start. That'll move him back five more. It's nice seeing the, a nice crowd once again out here at the pit. That student section over there. I believe it's Hawaiian night, looks like. Yep. I thought they'd be having a Loop. roasting a pig or something. <laughs> Maybe over there. Bury it. Across the, <laughs> yeah. across the way. Timeout tried, and we'll take one as well. Be back here on RTC TV4. Caden Hill's been in some tackles tonight. I mean, we could just Drop read out the pass. whole roster. This one's unloaded. That's going to get picked. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. Just overthrown. Bo, Bo couldn't get to it. Yep, Bo Mersh was right there. Had good, good coverage. coverage. Snyder couldn't pull it in. Just overthrown about 10 yards. So, Triton should be punting away. You know, I think we said the the term methodical last week. Like you did, yeah, maybe fifty times. <laughs> yeah. But it's kind of a different feel tonight uh, on how Barry's managing uh, the team and and uh, managing the game. Yeah, I mean, he's taking what Triton will give him. I think it, more than anything, it's not grind it. It's you know, it's kind of like Triton's really playing some nice defense as well. I know, it was somewhat brief, but... Oh, there we go, and that was going to be a fake. It was going to fake it because Shook made yep. that, caught that front snap. Either way, they're going to be moving backwards five yards. So, let's we'll see if they try to fake one other one. I wouldn't think you're going to fake this deep. I don't know, it was maybe a, a quarter or less that they utilized Caden Hill back there at, at quarterback, but mm -hmm. I think that um, kind of maybe stumped uh, Triton. Yeah, a little bit, and it wasn't. I don't think it was because of a plan for Adam Barry. Yeah, what we thought originally. Oh, oh that's a tough snap, snap, but a great job, Cole he, Shively. He gets it. That kid is an athlete. He was what able to kick. go up and grab that, and then boot it to all the way down to about the thirty-yard line. That was a great punt, man. Cole Shively. He's a fun one to watch out there. And he didn't. He didn't get. Um, you know. Yeah, he wasn't so scared. Was, yeah. he, he kept so his, compo he kept know his composure. Yeah. Kept his composure. He had to go up high to get it. Pulled down that rebound, turned back around. <laughs> took a three-point. No. The hooky <laughs> uh, he booted it down there to the 31. So Pioneer will take over on that punt. 20 to nothing. 636 left here in the fourth quarter. Let's see what uh, Pioneer can get started here. I'm going to say they're just going to. Yep, yep, Robinson, that's that. But those are good snaps. That's a good snap. He just dropped it. 
and it has to do with that fin yeah, those I, fingers. Yeah, that's what I, I'm thinking too. Maybe they need to slow down the snap, or well, that'll keep the clock running at least, which is not a bad thing no. for Pioneer. Second and fifteen. Yeah, it looks like Pioneer's going to call a timeout. Robinson's over here talking to Coach Adam Barry. And they'll let it run down about one and. So how do, you feel, how do you feel about this? I have my own thoughts and opinions, of course, too. But what do you think about just taking time off the clock well, instead of just keep pounding away? Yeah. Well, I mean, to me, it's it, it's more a sportsmanship thing, I believe. Yeah. Um, there are, I mean, you know, clock management's a big thing in high school, college, and NFL football. And... <laughs> I just think that depending on the situation, I guess, you know, as always, depending on the situation, if it's a good or bad thing, you know, if you're up 45 nothing, whatnot, you know, I would say, yeah, let's, let's run the clock. We don't need to put points on the board. But <laughs> but. Yeah, we're getting some we're getting some text messages up here that <laughs> we're enjoying former classmates saying some things we can't repeat. <laughs> Eating chicken wings. <laughs> but we thank everybody for watching. I'm appreciate Adam appreciates Steve Stricker, yeah, the whole RTC TV4 crew. Um, it's it's fun to do, some, man. Some great uh, video footage of the game. Oh uh, man, that ca the cameraman by, by the crew. Like doing a great job, sticking with where he needs to be every time. And the audio is good tonight, hey. so can't complain. So Let's Robinson, see if they can see if Robinson can take the yeah. snap. There's a good snap, Robinson, and he'll pick up a few there. So about third and probably third and 13, maybe third and 14. Third and 14, Dennis Walker calls. He's our spotter tonight. He's our PA announcer tonight. He does it all, man. And actually a very funny individual. Oh, he's <laughs> funny, all right. <laughs> no, he's a, he's a great supporter of Pioneer Athletics. Yeah. He had an excellent lineman, Connor Walker, two state championships. Yeah. Aiden looked up to him a lot. Yeah, Connor's, a, taught, Connor's a good Aiden dude. A lot. Yep. Oh, There's here Brock. we go, Robinson. Right. He's oh, gonna, he's got oh, over the top. Oh. Nice job. Look at the play Never by 21. a workman. Or a Snyder. That's uh, Snyder. He went up high and tipped it. Yeah, that was almost over just past his uh, fingertips. Yep. And, uh, that, that could have been a touchdown. Oh, if it would have got over the top, Keaton, or uh, Caleb Sweet was right there to snag it. Sweet feet would have just... Sweet feet, sweet hands. <laughs> it went right to the end zone. Hey, we're going to punt again. Dylan Odom's had a night. <laughs> I mean, he's been on this field a lot. Not to mention him singing the National Anthem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a good rocket. Good. Great punt by... Adam's going to roll. Oh! Great. Hey, look at the roll. What a great... There we go. Now, that's that's more like my golf shot, Seward. Boom, off the green. <laughs> yeah, the person's house. Is this yours? It's funny when state? your buddy talks about his golf game and you've golfed with him. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh. 458, Triton with the ball. I'm going to get back to football. You guys keep talking about golf, whatever you want to do. Well, no, we were talking about football. Oh, that's right. You were like, oh, that's my golf shot. <laughs> <laughs> but the Panthers really do feel at home on that defensive Shively. side. Shively. He's got one He's man. He's chased by Sweet. Oh, 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 oh yeah. That's a fumble. That is a fumble. Great job Another. by Caleb Sweet to but knock that ball out. But that was number 57 again, Miller. To, to recover. Yeah. But Caleb was, oh, there's a flag. Uh, let's see what's going to happen here. There, uh, Caleb Sweet did a great job to knock that ball 
out of Shively's hands. Yeah, Owen Miller comes up gimping, but the, the one ref's like, hmm? Oh, holding. Hold on the Panthers, but was it after was it after the fumble? Oh, that Nope, Triton will keep it. Big play by Miller. Owen Miller did a great job. Caleb Sweet did an excellent job. I still didn't see that they were calling that. Well, they got a four over there. Well, then we just got five yards. So, so yeah, that's going to mark off five. five. Yep. So. so the Panthers just need to shake that penalty off and just yep. get get back in their, their mental space of just stopping them. So the ball in the 39, so it was... So it'll be on the 39-yard line. Triton. Solano looks like he's just ready just to 450. Con consume someone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Snap. He's like a, a nice low snap trucker. to Shively. Nice There's pitch that out. pitch to Shoe. He gets the edge, but picks up maybe three yards on that pitch. There's nothing there. Yeah, Pioneer did a good job of stringing that out. That'll stop the clock for going out of bounds. He picked up two yards on that carry. So, second and three. <laughs> or second and eight. <laughs> two wide over here. Close to the Panther sideline. Bo Mersh out here on the coverage. There's a snap. Swinging it out here Good to off. Snyder. Good pass. <laughs> Miller just. Do the do -si do <laughs> Eli Miller swung him around and put him on his backside. Before that happened, though, Shively has a great arm. That's a long throw. And set up very nice to sling that over to the. That's a long right throw side. for a high school player. But he set his feet, and... Oh, he rolled right into oh, the... Oh, oh, oh! Is that Sweetie? Yep, Caleb oh, Sweet. Oh, Caleb Sweet. With the interception. I got it. Hot shot to shortstop. He's able to grab it. That was sweet. Hey, if you have not seen Caleb Sweet play baseball, go watch him this spring. Yeah. The kid's a beast. Very, again, just a very... Versatile athlete, good athlete. And man, Cole Shively rolled right in the pressure yeah. too. I think he thought, "What am I doing?" <laughs> yeah, I was like, he turned Oops. around and here comes Rut Row. <laughs> here comes Miller. Oh man! Right at him, Miller. So first and ten on the forty-two for Pioneer. Motion. They're going to hand, hand off to, to Bo Mersh. Man, he's got some wheels. Kind of sidesteps and he's got the first down. Nice. By Bo. They utilized him a lot this year. No, have it. He, when he gets his number called, he definitely that was uh, produces. A really nice run, and he and he picked. He was able to pick apart the defense where he wanted to run. There, he had to sidestep a few guys and cut back in and get that first down. Picked up about eleven on the carry. And as you heard behind us, pioneer first down. That's right. Well, maybe you didn't hear behind us, but <laughs> side us. Down now. We got 13, 12, 11, 10, 10, 10, 10. When that clock start? <laughs> <laughs> you think so? He went out of bounds. Oh, they're oh. going to run that counter. This Set, time to Bo Mersh. Oh, oh look at the sidestep back touchdown. up the middle. Touchdown. Bo Mersh. 31 yard jump for Bo Mersh, and he Kadushka. made a lot happen in that 31 yards. Kadushka. Bing, bing. Here we go, watching, watching this replay. Great field awareness by Mersh on that counter. There was just a, a huge Oh, look at that cut. That look at that cut, kids. Created Woo. and then did a nice cut back and found Pater. Too bad we didn't have a telestrator. We'd be in trouble. <laughs> uh, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> 
We're lucky we have audio half the time, let alone we're, Telestrator. We're setting our demands for the next game. <laughs> yeah, I know where that'll go. We want some Totino's two point conversion. Pizza. Robinson <laughs> fires, and oh, it's going to be picked off, off in the end zone. Intended. I don't know what he. That was would have been a tough yeah. play to make anyway. Well, Sweet needed to kind of mo- go back, go out yeah. towards that pylon a little bit. Either way, Pioneer's up 26 nothing. We're going to take a quick break. Be back after this on RTC TV4. Pioneer TV. Dylan Odom set to kick here. Puts uh, his leg into it. Kick. Wobbler. Uh, He's going to pitch it backwards. It's a shoe. Probably a uh, good – that's a good idea. Yeah, he's got Because look at this. Shoes to the 50. Past the 50. Out. He's going to go out of bounds. About the 45. Let's see where they spot him at. But, man, that was a nice return by – Anthony Shue showing he's got a little speed. Not only can he just bang you, he, he can run a little bit out there. Nice run. <laughs> so did anyone did anyone get at you on the on the trivia? No, nobody listens to well, us. Well, why, why don't we just tell them? Because well, you've left a lot of viewers just hanging. It, it was a great. Brett Weingardner played for the St. Francis Cougars. Beat up. Led the, I think he still leads the state. He's number seven. Wasn't I think uh, he was here. He led the state in career interceptions, yep. and I, I think There's he still. Shoe again. I think he still does. Man, that look at that guy. Oh, he's, he's gone. gone. He's gone. He is gone. Touchdown, Brighton. Anthony Shoe. Good hard run. A forty-eight yard jump by Shoe. Anthony Shoe gets loose. The shoe the, got loose. The, <laughs> the, pan, the Panthers were there. It's just. He's yeah, hey, uh, just a strong. It shows you what kind of talent the kid has. Where he had it, yeah. Yeah. they couldn't hang on, and he was already buying by then. It's a good hard run, and showed some speed at the end there to break so, away. So you kind of already playing on an onside kick. After I would think so. Yeah, yeah with three thirty-four left, I think they're going to go for two here as well. Obviously, Shively comes in, bringing the play to the. Line of scrimmage here. Got the hand up. No, oh. Shimey's going to sling it oh. and picked off. Picked off by uh, Bo. Is that Bo? No, 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 no. Gluth. Yeah, that's Brian Gluth. Great job. Way to use those ups. Oh, he got up too, did yeah, he not? He did. For, he's not real big. He's not real big. He's 5'7", maybe, but yeah. Yeah. He used his vertical there and was able to snag it. 5'5". Five, five. Listed at 5'5". Five five. What do you think he is? 5'5"? Five five? Yeah. He's not, five six, man. not real big, but he, he got up there and snagged that to negate the two-point conversion. So it's 26-6, to six, which is a 20-point game. I would. It's going to be tough for Triton, depending on what, what happens here. It's still going to be. Like you said, it's probably going to be an onside kick. I mean, looks like the Panthers are going to be they're gonna well their, prepared for that. Yeah, they're going to put that hands team up there. LeGrand play on their side, looks <laughs> like. <laughs> He's kicking it to him. <laughs> uh, so Pioneer holds on. They're going to go 3-1 and one in the conference. Yeah, and I would like to encourage, Four any, and two. encourage any former uh, – Pioneer alum that played football, or maybe you didn't. Just follow. Come, come out and check out the pit, the team. Uh, definitely there's some nostalgia here. Yep. So here's the kickoff. Oh, nope, nope. What are they calling? It looks like, uh, yeah, he, nobody blew the whistle. Didn't c- let him know that he could keep I mean, start like, the oh, kick. Oh, oh, <laughs> you talked about nostalgia, man. I sit up here. I was the public press announcer back in the day yeah. when the Panthers made it to the state the first time in 1997 for the 98 school year. Class year, I guess. And Man, was that awesome. But dude, this this press box I thought was going. Oh, they go to the other side. Nice job and good coverage. Who who got on that? 
That was Gluth. Okay. Or no, uh, Schmel. Schmel. Schmel, okay. Schmel. Yeah. But, uh, man, this, I thought this press box was coming down that night. It shook like, oh, it was crazy. Crazy. You know, we played, of course, Whiting in a huge game. Oh, and the snow? <sighs> oh, that was crazy. No, that, that was. Uh, nope, it was, no. South no. East, uh, Central. No, it was, you're thinking earlier. But no, for the state, for regional, Whiting came down oh, here. Right. It's where it all began. It's where it all began when, the, you know, when Panthers were able to beat White, a really good Whiting team. Oh, my Woo! goodness. The snap is way out <laughs> of breath. Robinson races back and He's gets so it. He's so quick, thankfully. <laughs> but that's a, what, 20 yard? Yeah, that's a. I just, I'm kind of at a loss. Well, we, we've talked about it, but, um, you know, there, there could be a few different things going on there. That was his rock. That was a shot over the. I mean, yeah, Brenton. That, it, it was a quick snap. It looked like from what I saw. Yeah. Um, but maybe slowing that down. But then that hurts Pioneer on, on their play calls oh, too. I'm watching him snap. Okay. Well, now well, this, is, this is Brent Gallmer. Yeah. But look how they hold the ball in that deep snap. They hold the nose of the ball yep. and snap. I, I don't. Yeah, that, that's how Aiden does it. Too. That's interesting. I guess I would, you know, I'd get my hand on there and. But then that's further down you are to get up to <laughs> yeah. start blocking. Yeah. So. That is true. Good point. Noted. Yeah. <laughs> Wrote it down. <laughs> well, I was talking about the. Uh, you were talking about nostalgia, and I talked about the Whiting game yeah. here and how crazy that was. That was a regional championship. Whiting had to come down here. Fans were mad. The field, was, they worked all day to get the yeah. snow off. And, boy, you talk about a workhorse. Paul Strabavi for Whiting was just an animal. I remember that, that name. Kid had, I, I want to say, three, over 300 yards rushing on, like, 55 carries. Something like that. I don't know. It was ridiculous. But Pioneer won. That's right. Pioneer won. I'll never forget. Wait. Oh, nice uh, job kind there. Of ran into each other, but there uh, we go. That's all right. Brock was able to. All right. That's not. Is that Brock? Timeout. Triton now. Okay. We're gonna hang here and talk about that game. Uh, well, I'll never forget. We'll all listen. I'll, ne <laughs> yeah, I'll never forget. Eric Ferg. Eric yeah. Ferg, a great defensive end, just a wild man. Calm and collective in the classroom. One of the smartest kids you ever meet. Somebody on that team was. Um, Kyle Kennel right there. Oh, there he is. Yeah, cheese. A, a lineman. Yeah. A crucial part of that. Uh, yeah. Well, no, he wasn't, he wasn't with them. Not that 97. year. 97. 97 class, but, well, it was the 97 <laughs> year, 98 class oh, at okay, one state. Okay, I got you. So the year after, but, hey, that's the first year they actually had a winning yeah. season. That's what it was. Yep. When, um, yeah, we went 500. Yep. And then next year, I think. Uh, maybe did the same thing, and then yeah, that was when we the first time we ever went over 500, I believe, yeah. in program history. But man, I'll tell you, that Paul Strabavi, Paul Strabavi went to Ball State, ran. He kind of looked like a Brian Bosworth, didn't he? Dude, he was a horse. He was a straight horse. The cheerleaders are getting this Panther crowd pumped to the gill. <laughs> third and next week, no, third and 23. Robert's going to keep, keep it. it. He's got some big yards there. Hey, hey, you see this? Hey, you see old Aiden Lown, 64, pushing his man 15 yards well, backwards. I know, I was going to let you call that. I did. So, yeah, so you didn't look like you were conceded. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, it was a great. Great block by number 64, Aiden Lau. He was able to take his man. I like to say put him on the bus. Remember the movie Blindside, right? I don't know what movie you're talking about. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm just kidding. I don't watch a lot of movies, but I, yeah, I have seen that. That's a good one. That. Oh, of course. You know True it. story. Michael Orr. Man, man we go man. down the rabbit hole every time we want it. <laughs> of seems course. Like. Yeah. Start talking about the nostalgia. Let's take a break here on our TV4. 
come back. Finish up this TV. game. So, uh, oh, let's oh, do this. back to punt. Oh, yeah, let's get back to the game. <laughs> good, Odin. good uh, snap back there to Odom. Ball's hanging up there a little bit, but. Oh, it takes. Nice little punt. Goes down about the 30, 35. So, here we go. We got some substitutions coming in for the Panther D. Gluth, Nickel. Eli Nickel. Yep. LeGrand and Robinson will come out. LeGrand deserves a break. Man, he's had been all he over the field tonight on defense. So we got two minutes, 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pioneers up 26 to 6 here at the Panther Pit, Rail Center, Indiana. Shively takes a snap. He's hands with the shoe. He shoe, cuts nice back. Cut back. <laughs> and well, another well. flag, and that's probably going to be on Pioneer. I don't think that's a warranted. From it was a it was in the same vicinity that they threw that one flag earlier. So I'm guessing it's probably a. Are these the same? Oh no! There we go. Say, there we go. I don't know why. A hold. You're... I don't know. So that was a hold. On Triton. Well, they threw the flag. You don't. You just don't see him throw a flag for a hold back there behind the pile in the de in the defense backfield. Oh, no. no. First and fifth. I know everyone was concerned about the the wet um <sighs> the temperature up here from last week. Oh yeah, it is. I'm wearing a nice long sleeve shirt tonight. Nice breeze up here coming into the to the box. What we nickname this place? There's a nice run. There's that option play to Shoe, and he's cut oh, between he's, a couple tackles. Miller almost stripped that. They're still working on him. Can't get it down, and boy, Shoe still standing up. Great job by, uh, yeah, Miller. Yep. Eli, Eli Miller. Yeah, Eli Miller made a good play. Just there. have the awareness to try and strip that ball. Yep. I mean, uh, second good. and nine. Triton trying to get something going oh, that's quick. A, that's an Owen. Owen. <laughs> there we go. Rolls right in. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh hey, let's roll it back. Roll it back. There's roll flag. it back. What's the flag? Called? I don't know, but let's watch this. This is great. There was nowhere Shively was going. Oh, this is great. Here we go. They tried to snap quick. Shively says, hey, I'll take it. And, oh, here we go. Yeah. Wow. Rolled right into that. What? what? Lost. So but now we're checking out the penalty here. Yep. <laughs> Face mask on the Panthers. Face mask? That, was, that wasn't even in the yeah. play. You might need to try something else official. <laughs> That's not working for us. <laughs> Got a minute 30 left. Pioneers actually gotten some rough calls that are way yeah. tonight, last week, from our perspective. But we got a minute 30 left here in the game. I, I really, I really thought it would be a, a tighter game. I did as well. Yeah. Triton is a very, very good team. So there's a five-yard face mask. It just kind of touched his face mask. Oh, that yeah. shows up. Uh, fumble. Pioneers got fumble, it. Fumble. Pioneers got it. Panther football. Yeah, who had that? Who picks it up? I'm going to say Oscar. Oh, Oscar, Oscar the Grouch takes it in his can, <laughs> picks up that car, picks up the trash. Okay, you're, <laughs> you're going too far on that. <laughs> nice job uh, by the Panther defense and Oscar Solano picking up that fumble. Here, balls on the 34. Pioneer will probably just put it on a knee here for a few. Run the clock out. Step away. Three and one in the conference. They this might. Is, this they is might a, run one more, two more. This plays. is a big win for the. This Panthers. is a big win. A very big win. Yep, they're in their victory formation. Let's see if they can get this thing. <laughs> I think I I get up under center. Hey, about knocks over. I take. 
Yeah. That's the hardest snap of the night. I knocked him over. Uh, that's <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> yeah. yeah. We're up here second guessing a shotgun on your uh, victory formation. Stopping the clock here, see what's going on. Just a relentless display of defense tonight by the You only had one little mishap, and that was a shoe 48 yard touchdown give jump. Give some credit on that run. I yeah, mean, he's been running hard all night, and he has fought. He's done a lot of things on his own. He's earned every yard that he, that he got, yeah. for sure. They're going to go. We got a little gonna, technical difficulty uh, with gonna, the play clock. They're going to go talk no, it over. Hey, so tell me what you want. What you really want. <laughs> <laughs> we got some people singing Spice Girls over here. There you go. Now rap and roll. I think the same refs as last week. I'm not going to do So after the game, we'll have a post-game interview with uh, Adam, Coach Adam Barry. One arm, two arm. I know, I know. Oh. <laughs> and he's just rifling. Uh, he Tonight. A well earned victory here at the pit. Six. Nice, nice job. Man, that was a, a quick game. Um, it was a, a well deserved win. Hard, a hard fought game, honestly. Yeah, it was. Um, it was a game that you kind of had to take what Triton gave you here tonight. Yeah, and, and, and they did. You had one big play. First of the game, you know, 90-yard kick return by Brock Robinson. And the rest of it was just kind of fill them out, yeah. pump back and forth, and that's the way it went.